I am so excited to be reviewing this product. So we will go today into the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette, which is on sale on Sephora right now, if you are watching this video. And I will be telling you everything about the price, about the formulas, about everything around it. So if you wanna know if I recommend this product and if it is worth your money, then continue watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time that I post a video. So let's get into this review right away. Hello. So as you can see, my base is already done. Everything is done and we are ready to go into this product review, which is the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette, which is a face highlighting and contour palette, which is very weird for me because I would never in a million years uh, bought a face and highlight palette, which is not really my type usually, but it was on sale on Sephora. So the regular price for this palette is $117 Canadian and it was on sale for $58 dollars and 50 cents Canadian so I was like okay I need to grab this because I know that Natasha Denona has great products even though I never try them I heard a lot about these products so I'm excited to try these and I want to say that there are a different new formulas her like a glowy formula that is really apparently good so I'm going to be telling you at the end of the video if I recommend this product if ever you have any questions there's like specific information that you want everything will be listed down below as a time stamp so you can go check them out and yeah so like I said I paid for this for $58.50 with regular price is $117 Canadian um, there are six different products in this palette which is six times 0 0.25 ounces of products or seven grams if you prefer grams. There's three cream formulas and there's three different powder formula. We will go straight into the packaging because I think it's important to talk about the packaging. It is for this price, it better be good, right? So the little cardboard, I really like it. I think I'm gonna keep it just to keep my palette very clean. I like the fact that it has um, Natasha Denona in a red cherry color and diamond and blush palette is in like a holographic color which is really nice we will open it up Ooh. Uh, the shade of this palette is in 01 Daria which is uh, you know more for light skin tone and medium skin tones there's two palettes there's this one and there's the, there's the other one which I only took this one and um, I like that the packaging inside is cherry I think it's very pretty it, ha it adds a nice touch to it there's like this nice pearly pink on it so there's like pearls in the pink it's very cute and then you open the packaging and oh my god the mirror is huge it is crazy I can see everything I can see my entire face with it literally if you're traveling and you're bringing this palette with you you will only need this on your vanity you don't need anything else <laughs> maybe maybe a light or something but this is crazy and there is a little plastic thingy to cover the cream formulas so it doesn't go like both formulas don't go into each other as my first impression as I can see right away there's one thing that I have to say which is kind of like eh, for this price, why is it there? There's like a hair in my palette, <laughs> which, listen, uh, for, this is worth $117, okay? Like, if I see a hair in my palette, it better not be there. But it, like, it is in the palette. Maybe, oh, it's gone. I breathe it on it and it's gone. So, I mean, it might have been, it might have been just a surface thing, but still. Okay, uh, let's continue. <laughs> oh God. There is right here the Glow Cream Base, which is a base that you can put before the diamond powder, which is right here. You have the cream blush, which is here. And then it is a base for the powder blush if you like to mix and match. You don't have to use them both at the same time. You can just use one. Then you have the Duo Glow, which is a more purpley pink with a duochrome gold uh, glitters in it and then you have the glow extreme powder which you know like I'm looking at it and I think the diamond powder is going to be super glowy and then the glow extreme is going to be glowy as well so I like a good extreme highlighter and hopefully it is versatile so I already have like a shiny type of base so hopefully it's not going to be too much but you know we never have enough highlighter so I want to know if for example you put powder is it going to 
I'm sorry, it's itchy. Is it gonna go on top properly or is it gonna smudge everywhere? So that's one thing that I wanna check out. All right, so I wanna point out before we start some things that are in this palette and that are not in this palette. So it is formulated without parabens and this palette is free of talk. Um, there's no UV filters, D5, and oil and it is also cruelty free but it's not saying that it is vegan so it's not vegan but it is cruelty free so i'm going to be opening up the little plasticky thingy right here we will go straight into the cream blush which has a more curl deep shade so we'll be careful with how much we put because i don't want i don't want this to be super extreme on my face so you can create like natasha denona said you can create a multi-dimensional texture um, look and you can go either very very soft and natural or either very very extreme so it really depends what you want I'm touching it and it's liquidy like it just melted off the palette right away I'm gonna show you I dipped my finger in it and it changed color like literally instantly I'm gonna be putting one dip here OMG this is <sighs> So let's start blending this. I'm just putting it here. I want to know if my foundation and everything is going to move or it's just going to stay and just blending it with my fingers because with the finger, it's going to be the easiest tool that you can have and it's actually not going to move anything if you are very careful. And if you're using your fingers, like there's going to be some things that are going to go on your fingers. So I recommend maybe like... um cleaning off your finger before you dip back into this palette. It does settle in pretty easily into the foundation and the skin. Um, if you continue to blend, like there's not much left on my finger as you can see. Um, it goes really in the skin and then you can blend it very properly with your finger and it doesn't move really anything. Anyways, this one right here, so we used the blush before, we will use this one right now. And I'm gonna be taking my Morphe brush and then I will be applying the lightest, tiniest amount because I don't know how pigmented this is. But anyways, which is one thing that I always recommend when you use cream product or liquid products, you always want to set it. So let's go in, let's go into this blush, which my brush is clean by the way. So. I know it doesn't seem like it, but it's clean. Is there any fallout? So if I go lightly in the pan, there's not that much fallout. It looks very nice. And look at how pigmented it is. So with the base, it becomes very pigmented, but then you can blend it here in these areas. It looks pretty nice. You really don't need to apply a lot of product, right? It really complements the cream blush. And it looks really, really natural as well. Fits with my lipstick, honestly. <laughs> There's no cake back in the pan, so that's one thing that is nice. A low cream base, we'll put the base and then we'll put the diamond powder on top of it because this is the formula that she was talking about that she wanted the most with the glow cream base. So this one right here, you go in it with your finger. So I put a little bit on my finger and that's what it looks like. At first hand, it does look very muted. So if you like a highlighter that is very soft, you might like this a lot. So I'm just going to apply this here. The lights naturally hits my face on top of the blush. And even now it looks very cute. And it doesn't move really my foundation or anything. And it doesn't feel dry in any way. It feels very moisturizing and hydrating. I'm really swirling the softest way possible. So I'm not using too much product. I think it's not a good idea to put too much because you might become oily in certain areas and you want to avoid getting oily. I'm gonna be going into the diamond powder, which looks absolutely amazing. It looks so stunning. This one has a little bit more of fallout. And, oh! This, 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 this ain't playing around. Crazy intense. This is crazy intense. <laughs> then you put it on normal skin. If I just put it like this on my chin, for example, it's very muted. Um, you don't see it as much. So if you want this to pop, you really have to put the glow cream base before the diamond powder. And look at how extreme it is. I'll go into the two other products just to see the colors and to see everything else. Right, so one thing that I want to try is for the glow, the purple shade, which is the duo glow. I want to put it 
like on my lips to see if it works because this is not just a blush palette you can really take this anywhere you want I like this palette because it's not too heavy you know it's very easy to to use so on the lips when I apply it to my lips it looks more on my finger it looks very pink and then I apply it to the lips and it looks glowy so it looks more like golden than pink I press it it just adds a nice little glow to my lips so that's one uh, trick if you want to use it um, I'm gonna try it on my chin right here so now as you can see it's like very glowy you can see the pink in it but you see the gold you see the golden tones and then the pink in is under so it's kind of like how I can explain it is like a blush, a purpley blush with golden shimmers in it, but in a cream base. And it looks very pretty, very natural. Just move the foundation again. And after that, there is the Glow Extreme, which we will try in a second, which is that powder. Um, it doesn't look that extreme in the, the pan, but maybe it is extreme. So this one right here. I don't know let's see if it is extreme or not so we will put it in the areas maybe on the nose so it looks like this I'm gonna put it on my nose it's a nice highlighter but if I go only with the brush it doesn't look as pigmented so if I go only with the brush with that little brush it does pick up a little bit of pigment but it's not as much as if I would take it with my finger and then I can mix it with the other highlighter to get like something more unified and more muted but overall it looks pretty nice what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna be turning off the beauty lights and I'm gonna show you where I place the products and what happened to it uh, is it good is it not good so we will go in it right away so there was the glow cream which I put under the highlight which the glow cream didn't move my foundation and it looks really nice and then after that I put the diamond powder on top of it and that's what it looks like it looks pretty blinding to my opinion it is crazy but it still looks very natural so even though I do this it's not gonna be like a harsh line that you're gonna have on your cheeks so that's really good then you have the cream blush which I put here in these areas more into the front of my face to really put a pop of color which you can see right now I have it right here and right here which looks very nice um, of course I put the powder blush on top of it and it really smoothed out everything it set the the cream blush in place and it looks very nice it is very hydrating as well and then you have the duochrome highlighter which I put on my chin right here this one looks more like oily uh, type of vibe so when you look at it it's more muted than this one right here, but it still looks very nice. I don't know if you can see it, but there's slightly the duochrome effect on it. So you're gonna see under, like undertones of purple and pink, which in the pan you will look, it will look more pink than gold. But now you can see more the golden tones of the highlighter and it looks very, very nice. It is eye hydrating too. So if you are more dry, make sure to set it. Uh, if you are more oily, make sure to set it because you wouldn't want this to be like super oily and make you oilier than you already are. And you have the Extreme Glow Powder, which I put with my finger, which is here. I put it on my nose. And this highlight is very nice. Um, it unifies everything. So my nose has a little problem, <laughs> which um, the foundation doesn't, stick on and for some reason it unified the nose which is nice so that's an area that you will want to put it if you want to unify any place um, this is more of like an extreme glow but unified which this one on the side which is the diamond powder is more like bigger pearls than this one so and this one is more oily like there's different textures and different effects which is really nice because you have a lot of versatility with this palette all right so overall this natasha denona diamond and blush palette is 
amazing. I absolutely love it. I love the colors. I love that there's a lot of different textures and you can create different looks with it. If you want to only have like a dry blush and not a glow from within, um, you can only use the dry blush, the powder blush. If you only want cream, you can use only the creams. If you want uh, something kind of pinkish and golden, you can use the other highlighter. But overall, I think this is really a win for this palette, especially that it was 50% off. So for the price, $50.50, for this palette, you have six products, so it comes up for like 10, not even $10 a product, which is amazing to my opinion. And the formula is amazing as always. And I highly recommend this product. Um, I think it will be really nice if you like to have different effects, like to have different highlighters all over your face. If you like more pearls on here, less pearls here, you want something very glowy on your chin or something more muted, you have the option for all over the face or for an extreme glow or for a soft natural glow. So very versatile and the mirror, I mean the packaging amazing. <laughs> so this is what I think about the product and if you have any questions about the product and how to use it and other techniques that you want me to try, um, tell me down below. Of course I always recommend using your fingers clean because sometimes brushes can be messy and can absorb a lot of products so using your fingers is always a win but make sure that they are clean and to keep your palette clean and to close back the little um, protector to protect the cream of blushes from not being mixed with the powder uh, textures so that's what it is that is my review on the natasha denona diamond and blush palette and how to use it properly so thank you so much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment down below subscribe and hit the notification bell to see more those awesome videos so i post five videos a week monday through friday and if you don't want to miss any video again don't forget to subscribe and you know you're gonna be notified if you hit the bell when I even do lives. So I really love you beauties and I will see you in the next one. Bye beauties. <laughs>